But Tevi, it does seem that politicians, there is a, a new guard, a, a, albeit small one, move, ready to move into Washington, and you're already seeing ways being made about some of these new Republicans not voting to raise the debt ceiling, which is going to happen inevitably in just a matter of months. Yeah, Dagan, you're right. And Steve's totally right about um, not increasing taxes, but we do need to get the debt situation under control. I think in the short term, we do need to increase the debt limit because otherwise we become Greece. We don't want to default on our loans. But we don't want to increase the debt ceiling without getting something for it, which is some kind of reduced spending package. And reduced spending package in the big areas, the areas where we're spending a lot of money in Social Security and Medicare, the long term obligations of the U.S. government really need to go under control. Steve, in the, the two uh, deficit reports or the deficit reduction reports that came out recently, there were mm -hmm. spending cuts in there, but tax increases, and it seems like that that is going to be a crutch that they fall on when all of Congress mm -hmm. starts to tackle this problem. Yeah, and what, the reason we wrote our piece today, I wrote this with Richard Vetter, who's been studying this stuff for 40 years at, at, Department, uh, at uh, Ohio University. The reason we put this study out now is we wanted to remind people that, wait a minute, those tax increases are not going to be re used to reduce the deficit. This is just a, a ploy. Remember uh, last week when there was a big discussion uh, that Alice Rivlin had come out with this proposal for a 6.5% national sales tax? Well, anyone who thinks that we have a 6.5% a national sales tax and they're going to use that money for deficit reduction needs to have their head examined. They won't use that money for deficit reduction. They will come up uh, with even new entitlement programs to, to pay for. Well, we, we end up, Tevi, with, with something that looks like Europe, where you have a value-added tax, you have a consumption tax, and you have... A a really fouled up income tax code That's that right. never gets fixed and never goes away. I mean, is that in our? Is that what we're looking at in the future, or will it be simpler and and let and keep taxes low? Well, Dagan, I sure hope it's not the former. I mean, we cannot afford to have a value-added tax imposed on top of our crazy income tax system. I would like to see a simpler, cleaner, flatter tax, a, a tax system that taxes income once and doesn't have all kinds of subsidies and, um, and special deals that, uh, that the Simpson Commission found uh, cost us $1.1 trillion, and they also increase in economic inefficiency. So we need a more efficient tax system if we're going to tackle these serious problems of debt.